today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a I'm not good at naming the, my videos but 10 things I would have bought if I wasn't on a low buy and these are 10 things that I have been so intrigued to buy this year but I haven't because of my low buy and that I wanted other things more than I wanted this but I know if I wasn't on a low buy I would have bought these products all of them so I think we just get started so the first thing and I okay I can promise you this is like the last thing I'm going to talk about this palette I hope it's the certify affinity 2 I was so torn if I was going to buy the affinity 2 palette or the oceanic palette but I finally decided to buy the oceanic palette from Ace Boutique and I love that palette but I know if it wasn't for my low buy, I have I would have bought them both, but I don't need these two palettes. I really don't. So it's good that I am on my low buy because I know that I would have picked up both of them. And the next thing is the Lila palette by Blush Tribe, and I know that was like a mix of the Blossom palette and the Hasina palette, but. That palette looks so good. It is like a rainbow palette, but it's a little bit toned down. Maybe if, should I have been scooching if I'm going to put up pictures here? I have to... Okay, <laughs> maybe it comes up pictures here. I know I have to put them if I sit here. Okay, it will come pictures. Maybe they have been a little bit over my face. I'm sorry. So, the <laughs> Lila palette. That looks so good and I really love the Hasina palette. Hasina one, I don't like the Blossom palette but that was one of their first palette but the Hasina palette, is this, it is such a good palette and I was so intrigued to buy this Lila palette but no. And next up we have this thing. I am going to buy it when my low buy is over and that is a Swedish brand it is made by a Swedish YouTuber and her brother and it is Hiccup and I want to buy their brushes. Uh, Paulina has talked about their big, I think it's their powder brush, like a pointer powder brush and every time she has talked about it and used it I am like I want it. But I have a no buy on brushes for this year so no brushes for me in 2019. But I really, really, really want hiccup brushes and they look so clean. They are like black and I really like the name hiccup. So that is going to be one of the first things I'm going to buy next year. Uh, their brush kit. I don't know if I want the ultimate kits or just the basic kit or what I want. But I want to buy their brushes. They look amazing and I have heard so good things about them. Not that I need new brushes but you know... Sometimes you just want them and especially that like big pointy powder brush because it looks big as hell and I love my powder brushes big as fudge. I have tried to convince my boyfriend that he wants to give me some makeup brushes but he's like no, why? I'm like because I might have been so good this year but no. I haven't convinced him yet so I think I have to wait until next year. And then a palette that I am, I'm a little bit torn about this, but then when I was um, at Jessica's place, I saw this and I was like, it looks so good. And it's the Smoke Session from Melt. I don't really know what I think about Weed Themes palette. I am like, if you want to smoke weed, do it. It's not my say but I don't think that you should promote them and yes this Sweden and US and other countries are a little bit different because in Sweden it is illegal to smoke weed that's just how it is but I even if it would be legal in Sweden I wouldn't do it because I do not I don't I do not think it's a good idea I think it would be so strange for a company to do like a pill inspired palette but just because weed is legal in some countries it's okay to do it 
I don't know, but the palette looks amazing. It really, really do. And it looks even better in real life. And I have two stacks from Melt and I really like them. So they are good quality. But it is this weed theme that is like... And I was so close to buy it. I had it in my shopping cart at the Beauty Bay. And then I was like, no, I am not going to waste one buy this month for the smoke session palette. It looks so good. I could buy it even though it's weed. Now I sound like a strict person and I I'm not smoke weed if you want to. But it it rubs me a little bit the wrong way and it wasn't worth it. It looks amazing but it's other palettes that I want more but if it wasn't for my low buy I would have bought it even though it's weed theme. Okay, th that was such a long side story and <laughs> I hope you get my point. I would have bought it if I wasn't on my low buy even though it's weed theme. Even though I don't think it's a good theme but what the fuck. I don't think that mm, weed is a cool like symbol. I don't like the look of the palette but yeah. Okay. Next thing. Next up is the Nabla Secret Garden. I don't really know why I want it, but I do. I have all the other palettes from Nabla, so maybe it's a little bit because of that. And I know if it wasn't for my low buy, I have bought it in a heartbeat. Because they have good palettes. And I have heard so many good things about Secret Garden. And I think it is a very pleasing palette and I would love to uh, complete my Nabla palette collection. Yes, I really would. And I have nothing against that palette. I The Poison Garden isn't my the best palette I have ever tried. It's not the worst palette I have ever tried either. But it wasn't worth one of, one of my items. It wasn't, but... I know I would have bought it, like the second it came to Beauty Bay, I would have bought it if it wasn't for my low buy. And I don't know what to say between them, but the next item is also an item that I've talked a lot about, and that is the Bear With Me Primer from NYX, it's their jelly one, and I've touched it in the store and I was like, I want you, but I'm not buying any new primers before the primer I have is finito. And my primer is not that yet, so no. If it wasn't for my low buy, I was like, okay, I have a spray primer and I have a gel primer. That's okay. But now in my low buy, I am strict only one primer at a time. I want it. I want it so bad. I can promise you when my primer that I have now is empty and I want to and I going to buy a new primer that jelly primer is going to be out of stock everywhere. I can promise you that. Because it is it is just how it is with me. But I would have bought it if it wasn't for my low buy. I hate myself sometimes for putting up these rubles for myself, but that's just how it is. And then one, I changed my rules uh, half... No, not halfway. I changed my rules in my low buy. If it was... In the beginning of this year, this would have been okay for me to buy. And that is the new colors with Fantastic from Lilo Hallberg. That was a strange way to say it. The new Fantastic from Lilo Hallberg. I would have bought all the five new ones. But I only bought two. The two I wanted the most, I bought and count them as two items. I know that I would have bought all five of them the second they came out. Because that's what I always do when it comes to Linda Hallberg. I buy everything immediately. But I have not bought any more than two colors. I, I'm i thinking that I maybe want to buy one more of the colors. I haven't done it yet because I, I love their lipstick. Um, but for so far I have only bought two colors. And the two colors that I really, really, really wanted. And now to the thing. One of the things that was on I want it so bad and it's the red lip kit the red bundle from Jeffree Star I don't know what it's called is it just called red bundle 
you know my love for red lipsticks and Jeffree Star has one of the best lip formulas, liquid lip formulas out there and I love the red drum shade that I have and I really want that red bundle. But I am not buying any new red lipsticks this year. But I want that one. I have been so close to buy that more than once. It looks so good. And I want more red lipsticks. I want some more darker red lipsticks. Yes, I know I have a few, but I want that bundle so bad. I have two other bundles. I have the rainbow or the equality. Yeah, the rainbow one and one of the nudes. But that red one. If you want to send it to me, you can. <laughs> I want it. Another red thing. Or, okay, these two last things I can take in one. And that is two monochromatic palettes from Colourpop. And it's the main squeeze. And it's my pleasure. And... I have bought three new ones. Uh, the orange, the blue and the yellow. And I was so close to buy one more of them or two more of them. Because sometimes I get like fixated with an idea. If I get an idea, I'm like, I have to do this. And it was like that with the monochromatics. First I only had one and then I bought my second one. And then I was like, I think I want more of them. And then I bought the yellow, the orange and the blue. And then I was like, there is not so many left that I don't have. So I think I want to buy the last two as well because then I have them all. I think I have them all, would have them all at least. But I was like, no, I'm sticking to my low buy. I'm not buying five palettes at a time because I can't do it. So if it wasn't for my low buy, I would have bought It's My Pleasure, the purple one and Main Squeens, the red one, even though I don't want them. I don't like purple that much and the red one I don't think is so fun. But they are like only $12, so yeah. I didn't buy them and that's a good thing, even though I really wanted them because I want a full collection. But I'm trying to get away from that behavior, so... And okay, that was all of the things that I... There are more things that I would have bought. <laughs> but these are like the 10 things that I've been close to buy and really, really wanted to buy. And I really hope that you liked this video. I don't know if you like my low buy videos or not. If you do, please tell me so I know. So, yeah. Is there any one of these things that you have or that you have thinking about buying? What do you think of them? Please tell me that they are shit so I don't want them. So yeah, that was all for this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!